All right, uh, so I'm back after uh, having lunch and uh, double checking some stuff. Uh, looks like I kinda, I don't know, misread the guide here. All right, it mentions the, uh, I mentioned the Poyozo dolls and then the guide also had the uh, uh, festival section there. And the festival section mentioned getting Poyozo dolls from winning one of the things. But they're not, they're apparently not actually like the same thing. I don't need to go and win them. Uh, they will just be there. So, yeah. That was, uh... Okay. This is... This. You know, no. Uh. Don't remember that. Uh. Was that. From over here, I guess? Tour access. Right, so apparently I can just come in here and then he will. Uh. He'll have the Poyoza dolls. Anyway, where uh, was I on the direct stuff? Alright, so yeah, Earthbound was kind of the last thing I talked about. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to play them on the Switch Online. Uh, next, uh, something called Zombie Army 4. Uh, I don't think I even watched that. I don't, I don't care. I've never heard of that. Uh, Gets Fuma Den. Uh, that's by Konami. I might buy that. I'll see how much it is, but uh Alright, so I gotta Yeah, so I that's like kind of a remake or remaster or something of an NES game apparently. Uh it's like a side scrolling uh, platforming kind of adventure game. Uh, I played a little bit of it on the... Well, I emulated a bit of like the Famicom version. Uh, back when this was first announced, I kind of looked into it, and it was pretty fun. I didn't end up playing like a ton of it. Yeah, see, those are the Poyozo dolls. Uh, that's what fixed me up. Which is on his... Interesting. Uh, yeah, and the game was pretty fun. Uh, probably, uh, unless it's like really expensive. I don't know. It is Konami, so who knows? They're, uh, you know, I'm gonna make sure they're not charging like fifty dollars with like microtransactions. Micro, micro transactions or anything, but uh, yeah, if assuming it's reasonably priced and it doesn't look like there's any like uh, stuff like that going on, uh, I may I may end up getting it. Demon Slayer out a bit. Uh, I think I already mentioned it. Not oh, probably gonna get it unless it's you know until it's real cheap. Uh, Lego Brawls on the list here. I I must have missed that. Uh, I don't know. It sounds like it could be interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why I missed that. Uh, unless it was just an announcement. It didn't actually have a video bit. 
I'll probably have a look into that. I'm called Two Point Campus. I've heard about that. Like I've heard that name before. I think it's on PC right now or something. Uh, not really sure what it is. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe uh, DLC pack. Don't have Mario Kart 8, uh, and I wouldn't. I'm not particularly hyped for that or anything, but uh, I guess good for people who do. Um, apparently, it is a pretty good Mario Kart game. So, you know, I don't really uh, play multiplayer games that much, though. So. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was announced. Uh, I think I had already talked about how I'd played 2 a bit before. Uh, yeah, if the if the gameplay is the same as three, then or gameplay in three is the same as two, then I I just don't care. I don't like the gameplay. But if they change it up so it's either more action based or more turn uh, turn based, then I'll get it. But I don't like the kind of mid uh, in between gameplay that it has, where you know you. You can't just not pay attention and just hit the A button and like, you know, read or uh, watch Netflix or whatever. But you also, you can't just, if you're just paying attention then it's really boring because it doesn't, it's not action enough to like fully use up your attention. So yeah, I'm not going to be getting it probably. Next, All right, I think that was, uh, yeah, that was it for the... Uh, yeah, that was it for the Direct. One thing I do find kind of, uh, I don't know, funny with, all, with a lot of these, uh, there's a lot of remakes of old, like, Japan-exclusive or really rare games. Uh, like, they had the front mission, which was... One was only released in Japan. Um, Earthbound, which I think one was only released in Japan, and the other was released here, but was... But is insanely rare nowadays. Um, Live Alive. Again, uh, only released in Japan. And, uh... Yeah, so, like, a lot of these games... Well, yeah, they were only a lot of them were only released in Japan, and they're really rare. So anybody who's like who knows about these games and is playing them, and you know is excited for them or whatever, they're excited for them because they pirated them and played them on an emulator. And yet the big video game companies are like, you know, they're always like, oh, well, especially Nintendo, they're like, oh, it's, you know, it's the most damaging thing to games in history, and we gotta. You know, if they, if Nintendo had their way, like, all the emulator developers would be in jail, everyone who's ever, ever downloaded a single ROM would be in jail, like, it, all emulation and ROMs and stuff would just be gone, and nobody would care about any of these games, like, nobody would know what Earthbound is, uh, and, you know, nobody would care, nobody would know about Live Alive, um, you know, Front Mission 1 would just be lost, uh, And yet, like, you know, here they are, they're like, they're gonna make a bunch of money just packaging the ROMs and selling them. When they've spent, like, all this time and effort trying to destroy them. I've got anything good here? Nah, not really. It says I'm supposed to hit the, uh, the mouth. Yeah, so, like, they're gonna be making a bunch of money, like, getting all these, uh, 
you know, just uh, slapping all these games into emulators or whatever, or at least, you know, building off the hype that people who have, like, pirated them and played them on an emulator have built. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, it didn't, uh, I guess that's gonna do a bit of damage, but... Uh, we gotta heal. And same with, like, you know, Nintendo's, uh, virtual console and, uh, their online thing, uh, you know, Nintendo never would have come up with uh, all that emulator stuff on their own. Like, their... Uh, we're done. At least I saved just out there, uh, unless Isla happens to finish them off. You know, like, everything they've done with emulators, it's just, you know, it's always years behind. Like, they're only finally implementing, like, save states and stuff. Uh, and, you know, from what I've heard, I guess, a lot of those emulators, they are... I don't know if Nintendo's online one is, but a lot of the emulators that they're packaging and selling, they're, like, you know, they're open source emulators that fans have made. Uh, yeah, we're done. So it just, you know, it seems really hypocritical for them to be like all, oh, you know, emulators and ROMs are bad, but wait, you know, we're going to use them to, uh, you know, make a bunch of money. Alright, uh... Yeah, I need something that heals everyone, so I gotta just, uh... Four allies each. Okay, so that would work. Store all allies HP and status, Isla. Oh, Island Frog, okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna switch him out for Frog. And then, uh, I guess I need to remove this. That's uh, good enough. I keep thinking I can get that chest first. does hit really hard though. Apparently he's got 4,000 HP, so... But I'm doing almost... Uh... Okay, what are we doing? Uh... Back, back. Okay, 
He's got 4,000 HP, so... Uh, I'm doing, you know, almost 400 so, per hit, so... You know, 10 hits should do it. Oh, and while I was having lunch, I kind of looked up a bit about the uh, triangle strategy. Apparently it doesn't have generic characters. Uh, everyone's like a story-based character that just joins you at specific times. And they're in their own set class and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not really interested in that then. Like, this should do it. It should, it should only be like one or two more hits. Uh, I can't heal everyone now with Frog uh, confused. But that should be... Okay. That'll be Robo. Kind of weird that, that thing was just kind of like in the middle there. You know, it wasn't like a final boss kind of thing, it was just sitting there. Uh, so I, I go back down there, and then I can probably get up here in this center spot. I kind of wonder if I should be using characters other than Marl and uh, uh, Isla, because they've already got all their techs. Yeah, so there's not, there's no point in, you know, continuing to get more tech points for them. So if I come down here, yeah, I can go in there. Yeah, so if I use these guys, they'll get the rest of their attacks. Uh, plus they hit a bit harder in combat than Marl. I'm 
we get some more uh, dual attacks. Save. Okay, so he's not using the Masamune, so I don't think that'll do anything. Restore allies HP. Okay. Uh she She doesn't get that. Uh okay. Well that's good. He he's a better healer then, because usually I'm preferring to heal everybody's HP. Uh, it's annoying to have to heal everyone one at a time. Alright. Uh, this should be, I guess, easier. Six hundred or so. Should be at about a thousand damage, I think now. Uh, it was like thirteen hundred, sixteen hundred. There's about two thousand probably. Three hundred, six hundred. Thirty three hundred. Thirty oh that may be it. Okay. I thought maybe I couldn't fall off the north side, so I could just hug it, but uh, that makes sense, I guess. I'm, I'm hoping the final area is just like, we go in and we fight Lavos and then that's the end, because I'm hoping this kind of uh, comes to a close soon.
Bedic Blade. It's like maybe Chrono? There's an item. should have healed. See, man, I wish I had this game as a kid. Uh, I could see just having a blast going through all the different time zones and exploring everything. Uh, and it looks like there's a there's a ton of different endings apparently. So uh, you know, I could see like just getting every ending. A thousand, sixteen hundred. But yeah, probably I'm just gonna beat it once just with whatever ending I get. I don't know if this will be like the best ending because I revived Chrono or or if I'm missing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, there's there's a lot of games I really wish I had gotten as a kid. Uh, you know, I did have a bunch of good games, but uh, there's a lot of like the really kind of famous games I just didn't get. Uh, the only Final Fantasy I had was Mystic Quest, uh, and, you know, I didn't have this, uh, I didn't have, like, Final Fantasy VI. But yeah, I did, I did have, like, Super Mario World, and Link to the Past, and Metroid anyways. Okay, he's got a new spell. Push the shell, find the shell, okay. I don't know if I... I hope I wasn't missing an item there. Because I saw up to the northwest there was a... looked like there was a spot to go, but... well... It would also be, yeah, I could also see going through the game, like, with every different uh, group of party members, just to see all the different scenes. Like, that's what I did with uh, Tales of Symphonia. I beat that game just over and over and over again. Oh, 
well, so we just push Chrono Chrono out of the way or something. Yeah, like I just, you know, I beat it and then I'd go through and I'd uh, beat it again with different characters at different times and, uh, you know, I found all sorts of little spots where you could, uh, you know, do things in different orders or whatever. Like, you know, you go back to, uh, like, one part of the game and, I don't know, you can do some side quest earlier or whatever. Uh, and I remember there's a part where you're supposed to get a ship so you can, or get on a ship so that you can cross over to this other area but it's still on the same continent so you can just take like a big run around the entire map in order to get there and then that that actually changes some things with the story Right, so we've got Chrono back. And I imagine that would have been a, like a really cool like playground rumor, like, oh, did you know you can revive Chrono? But, oh, we're just, uh, just here, okay. Interesting. But well, there's a bunch of side things I can do now, apparently. I guess I can put Chrono back on the team now. Okay, and I can skip, I can get rid of him as well. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep with these guys just to uh, level them up or get get more of their abilities. And, um... Okay. Um. I guess I'm going to try and fight him now. Not sure how this is going to go.
Okay. Uh... So I guess he's mimicking each of those bosses or something. I guess these are going to get longer and longer as we go, because they're going to have more and more HP. Ah, uh, right, he's he's that guy now, so he's got... Uh, he's resistant to everything but lightning. what these guys are going to do then. Uh, I probably should have swapped in Chrono for this one. At least he doesn't really do much damage. And at least I've, I've got Magus. This would be really bad if I didn't have him. Alright, I, I think I should probably switch my characters here, because... Uh, yeah, Magus can do all sorts of elemental damage, but... Uh, But he hits everyone. Okay, so I've got I've got lightning, water, and then everything. It just means if there's a boss that comes up that that is like you know he absorbs fire and is weak against wa uh, like lightning or something. Like, in it's two different... Like, if half of them absorbs lightning and half of them is weak against lightning, then... Magus will have a hard time because he can't help but hit both of them. Alright, more dual text is good. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, Masamune? Frog's MP disappeared. Uh, 
at least they are still very weak. Not oh, that thing. Like if they were all powered up or whatever, that would be kind of annoying. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that thing is weak against lightning. No? Oh. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess it is. didn't really do much damage. Yeah, I should- I think I am definitely gonna give Chrono the Silver Stud, just so that he can spam, spam uh, Luminaire. I think that was Magus it showed. I think his barrier, like it was a fire kind of thing, so I think I'm supposed to use fire on him now. Yeah, okay. Now what is he... what's that? Physical? Yeah, it would be nice if Magus had some uh, dual techs.
it must be done for soon. Like, even the recent bosses only had, like, a few thousand HP. I do if I didn't have Magus. I guess I just have to keep hitting him and getting him to change barrier to water or lightning. He's gotta be done soon. Gotta probably have done six thousand to him. Okay, good. Ah, uh, now he's that dinosaur. I thought maybe I could uh, go back or something. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Ah, uh, removing defense and storing power. Okay, so I just gotta wail on him now. And yeah, Lumineer's cost of 10. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what else there is to talk about. Uh, I guess the Nintendo Direct was kind of the big news thing lately. I 
guess I do want to play Chrono Trigger or Chrono Cross someday. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do that like soon after this. I'm probably probably not gonna record that or anything. But uh, yeah, that's a game I've because I've wanted to play this for a while and finish it up, and then I wanted to do that for Chrono Cross. Uh, and I like the idea of Chrono Cross of having you know the different. I think it's still got different time periods, so there's at least two. And there's all the different characters, which that's that's what I'm mostly interested in, is just having like a ton of different characters. Yeah, Giga Guy, he was the one who beat me, and I had to go and uh, grind up a bunch of levels, but at least I'm even higher level now, so uh, this shouldn't go too bad. I can just spam uh, Luminaire and... Uh, heal. I think he had what? I think it was like 4,000 in his arms and then like 10,000 or something in his head. Alright, I. It said to damage enemies, but I guess it's like an area of effect kind of thing. I kind of clicked on it before it went, and actually, before I noticed the arrow of where it was going to hit. Alright, but his arms are gone now, so it doesn't matter, I can just keep using Dark Bomb. I guess that was pretty good. I don't know. Probably better than, uh... Yeah, it uses the most MP, so it's probably the best. Uh, it certainly is stronger, I think, than them hitting him individually. Okay, uh, this will be really annoying if I die here and have to do all those again. 
Ah, uh, that was... That was some damage, yeah. Uh, it says he's got 10,000 hit points, though. Uh, so... Together, they just did 2,000. So, we only have to do that five times and he's done. And... Uh, yeah, it looks like we're... We're not falling too far behind in healing. Uh, I guess. Um, I should have got kind of panicked there and didn't bother. I should have had Magus use the healing and Prono. Use Luminaire because he does hit harder. Mm. That. I was hoping uh, he would just hit Frog and snap him out of it. Right, he's got to be at five or six thousand damage by now. All right, so Frog with that Chrono and Magus at least should uh, withstand whatever hits them next. Frog will die if he get hit though, but uh, we can just revive him. Or not. That was a fairly weak attack. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, apparently I can that I can go to the actual last fight, who's apparently quite a bit stronger, and I may be a bit low level. So I think what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to grind up and probably do those side quests to get everybody's uh, final weapons, and then I'll uh, come back and do the ending. Alright, uh, so that'll be probably next time then.